big box over our shoulders, but first we're going to tuck our ribs in and pull our chin. Keep that the whole time. We'll maintain straight arms as you lift your shoulder blades up, pull them back, bring them down, tuck them into your back pocket, and then forward. Continue up, back, down, and forward. Do it again the other direction. So back, up, forward, and down. Keep those ribs in, keep the chin in, and keep the arms straight. Widen your legs, place one hand on your hip and the other arm up. Make sure your chest stays facing forward and doesn't rotate at all as you reach straight up and over your head with a small side bend. Once you're done, switch to the other side, reaching up and over without rotating. Grab a band, take it as wide as you need it to be, and pull it apart. Keep that tension as you take the arms up over your head until they come all the way down and the band touches the back side of your body. Lift it up and over. Repeat as many times as you need. And you can always walk your hands in if you need more stretch or out if you need less. Put your body up against the wall and make sure that it stays connected. Keep in mind we don't want to arch the spine like this. We want to keep everything tucked in and then we'll take our arms like a field goal. If they don't touch the wall, that's okay. Just push them towards the wall as you slide your arms up and then back down. The ribs are going to want to flare out as you do this, so keep them tucked in and keep actively pushing your hands behind you even if they're not touching the wall as you glide up and glide down. You can take away any troublesome arching by sitting down and doing this movement seated. You're near a wall and place your arm out at a 45 degree angle, palm facing forward. Walk into the wall until you're about in line with the wall or you can step slightly forward. Keeping both shoulders down, you should start to feel a stretch down the bicep and through the chest. Look in the opposite direction of the hand, come back to center. Look in the opposite direction of the hand, come back to center repeat and do both sides. Utilize a pole or a rack from a Smith machine or squat rack. So we're going to start with our right hand reaching over our head and with an underhand grip you'll grasp slightly above your head. Once you're there you'll take your right leg and cross it behind you putting a little bit of weight in that toe and slightly rotating the hips. You're going to slowly start to look underneath that armpit as you rotate the upper body and give a helping hand with that bottom hand to push away from the wall. You should feel this one in your armpit, down the lats on the side body. Once you're done, just do the same thing on the other side. Same hand, same leg. Make sure you look underneath that shoulder. Use a couch, coffee table, bench in the gym, whatever you have. Place your elbows up. And then you're going to slowly put your hands together. Slowly let your chest drop down. Hold for a second. Come back up. Let your chest drop down. You should feel this one on the lats. Come back up. Notice if your lower back is the, the place that's arching. So if you can keep that slightly rounded so the thoracic spine and the lats get the love here. 